the universe just got a little smaller. Albert Einstein got a little smarter. And astronomers opened a window on the cosmos that could give us a front row seat to the Big Bang. In January 2017, alarms sounded at the most sensitive scientific devices ever constructed. In Washington State, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, detected faint disturbances from deep space. 10 milliseconds later, the signal hit LIGO's sister facility in Louisiana. Gravitational waves had reached Earth. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time that come about when massive objects accelerate. They tell you things about the nature of the universe that you can't get from any other source. These waves told a story from three billion years ago, a tale of two monstrous black holes on a collision course. During that fraction of a second when these two black holes were coming together and merging, the power output was greater than all of the luminous output of all the stars in the observable universe. A century ago, Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves, but even he thought they would never be detected. They are vanishingly faint pass through objects and are invisible to optical and radio telescopes. The first time I heard about LIGO, my reaction is, this is crazy, it will never work. So with LIGO, we're using laser beams to measure the distance between mirrors with incredible precision. We've basically built the world's best ruler ever. LIGO shoots synchronized lasers down intersecting vacuum tubes, each over two miles long. As a wave passes, it stretches space-time, shrinking or expanding one arm of the L and throwing the beams out of alignment. The system can measure changes as small as one one-thousandth of a proton. Gravitational waves are remarkably hardy, a kind of cosmic DNA. They carry exact portraits of their origins. We received a perfect signal from this last merger, exactly matching the predictions of Einstein's theory. It traveled three billion light years to get here. So that's telling us that it didn't distort on its way. It didn't disperse. LIGO has already registered three events suggesting that the massive release of energy may be relatively common across the universe. In any given galaxy, one of these events might only happen once every million years, but we're now able to monitor about 10 million galaxies at a time. It's a new type of astronomy. LIGO is the first generation of gravitational wave astronomy. Eventually, detectors will be built in space Instruments of near-perfect precision, free of interference, exploring the dawn of time. One of the ways that gravitational waves could really revolutionize our understanding of the universe is if we could see gravitational waves from the Big Bang. It's going to allow us to peer back to the beginning of the birth of the universe in a way that no other kind of astronomy can. Gravitational waves can go right back to the beginning of time, so we could see the birth of the universe.